The margarita, it is a great cocktail. It is insanely popular, but there are several mistakes you can make that will take your excellent margarita and turn it into a nasty, horrible margarita. Mistake number one, tequila. You got two options with tequila. You can use your basic kind of inexpensive tequila, which is made with a mixture of grain spirits and agave spirits. Tequila only has to be 51% agave spirits to have the name tequila on it, but grain spirits are basically cheap, not very tasty spirits. Also, cheap tequila typically is colored with caramel coloring and, and often, like this one, has natural flavors. What are those natural flavors? The only flavors in there should be tequila. What you can do instead is use 100% blue agave tequila. 1800's classic case in point. This is made entirely from the agave plant. It is pure tequila and it tastes way better. Mistake number two, there are three things in a margarita. Tequila, lime juice, and Cointreau triple sec. You have two options with lime juice. You can use lime juice from a lime, or you can use pre-squeezed, pre-packaged, weird lime juice from the grocery store when it has lime oil in it to give it more flavor. It has a plastic box around it that is, it looks like a lime, but is not actually a lime. You know what's in a lime? Nothing except lime, just lime juice. That's it, that's the whole thing. That's what you want. Mistake number three, ice. Ice is not the, actually the mistake. Let me go back. <laughs> mistake number three, using weird tiny ice in your drink. When you're mixing a drink, you want bigger ice. A little tiny ice, more surface area, melts more quickly in your drink and dilutes it. And you don't want a diluted drink because it doesn't taste like a great drink. It tastes like a watered down mess. Mistake number four, don't use margarita mix. Yeah, it's convenient. Truth is what you've got here is a whole lot of high fructose corn syrup. Yellow number four, oh sorry, yellow number five. You know, F and DC, like, who knows what the hell's in this? It's full of stuff. The best margarita is the simplest margarita, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. First things first, you wanna salt the rim of your glass, assuming you like a salted rim. And then, very straightforward ingredients. Two ounces of tequila, this will make you one really excellent drink. One ounce of Cointreau. If you can't get Cointreau, good quality triple sec will work, but I prefer Cointreau. And three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Some people will say the proportions should be slightly different. This happens to be what I think works perfectly. A little ice in your glass. And there you have a really excellent, terrific margarita. Mistake number five doesn't always apply. It only applies when you're making frozen margaritas. Here's the deal. This is your basic margarita on the rocks. What you don't want to do when making a frozen margarita is just dump this kind of margarita into the blender and whack it to hell with ice. You wanna change the proportions slightly. What I find per drink for a frozen margarita, you want two ounces of tequila, an ounce of Cointreau, an ounce of simple syrup, and then a little bit more lime juice than usual, an ounce and a quarter of lime juice or an ounce and a half per drink. Here I've made the ingredients for two drinks. I put in two and a half cups of ice, which is about the right amount for two drinks. <laughs> Blending, it's so much fun. Then quickly salt the rim of your glass. Again, you can use lime to make the, uh, the salt adhere to the rim. And because we changed the proportion slightly, we now have effectively what I would say is kind of perfect frozen margarita texture. That looks mighty good, I have to say. Let's see. Ooh, that's a tasty drink. So those five mistakes, if you avoid them, don't do any of them, you will have a spectacular margarita. It will be the best thing ever. You'll be thrilled and you'll probably have two.